video posted on YouTube shows 73-year-old Nelson Chia singing at a memorial for his dentist girlfriend Lily Sue, who was shot and killed in August. But last week, Chia was arrested on suspicion of plotting to kill Sue for financial gain and hiring a hitman. And then just hours later, authorities say he died by suicide while in jail. He always seemed like a pretty nice guy, pretty straight up guy. It's hard to believe. Ed Gonzalez of Hayward met Chia in the second grade. I'm shocked at his the scenario, you know, of you know, hiring somebody and just living that kind of life, and, and I'm saddened by his uh, suicide. Authorities say Sue's estate was worth between 12 and $14 million, and that Chia, a retired investment advisor, took control of many of her accounts after she died. Oakland police say Chia agreed to pay this man, Hashim Bassan, quote, a significant amount of money for murdering Sue. Bassan has now been charged with murder with special circumstances of financial gain and lying in wait. Surveillance video shows a white Lexus parked a short distance away before it pulls up alongside the couple's Mercedes outside a spa at East 11th and 5th Avenue in Oakland's Little Saigon. Police say Bassan got out of the Lexus, ignored Chia, and went around the Mercedes to shoot and kill Sue. Cindy Sheng, who knew the couple, says she was immediately suspicious of Chia. There are a lot of things we could understand what he doing that. The conclusion is my, he might have a huge financial interest. You can't help but to fall in line with it. You know, you hear like, oh, we're going to do a community garden for free. Video posted on YouTube showing Bassan, who also went by the name Prince, when he took part in Occupy the Farm back in 2013, when protesters tried to save land in Albany for urban farming. We got to think about the generation after that, you know. We're kind of still fighting uphill battle for next generation. Oakland police say Nelson Chia stood to immediately get a million dollars after his girlfriend was killed. And he had hoped to live off her estate for the rest of his life. Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.